Good morning, children. Let's come to the science class. Yeah, we have learned science today. The most interesting chapter in sex. So before that, we start with the prayer. Yes. Close your eyes. Join your hands. Tell the prayer in your mind. Repeat after me. Okay. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. Yes. Is this chapter interesting for you? This is chapter about the insects. We have seen. Yes, you want to also start observing the different types of insects. Oh, and I am getting different varieties of insects. Those are visiting your house and all. Ah, oh, yes. At that time only I could also find these type of insects are also here. Okay. So, again, what are all types? We have studied the body parts of insects. The three main body parts. Head, thorax and abdomen. Yes. Then, a work was given for you. Do you remember? Yes. The animals, the insects, they live in groups. There are some insects that live in groups. Find out two insects like that. Which are they? Ants. They live in colonies. They live in groups. And hills. It is a house called termites. To the left. There is another one. Again, honeybees. Honeybees are also another insect that live in as group. Okay. Now, we are going to see again. The life cycle of an insect. Uh, one insect's life cycle is given here. Uh, there are different stages of the honeybee. That uh, their life cycle. Like how are they coming out? How are they becoming a honeybee? Uh, that is uh, about the life cycle of the honeybee. And also there are some useful insects. Some insects are very useful to us. And some are very harmful to us. Okay. That is what we are going to see in this chapter. So, first of all, we can see the uh, life cycle of the honeybee. And also, how is it? How the honeybee is very useful to us. That is also there. That you have to tell me after the class. How are the honeybees useful to us? Okay. So, first we will see how the honeybees are coming out. Now, have you seen a honeybee? The, uh, where the honeybee live? It is in the comb. Their, their house it is called the honeybee comb. They need a coda. Yes. There are different stages of them and they are called the, it is called the different stages are there. Different steps are there how the honeybee is becoming a honeybee. That is called the life cycle. We are going to see the life cycle of the honeybee. This is given in your textbook the different life cycle of the honeybee. And in that honeycomb, in that uh, honeycomb there are different types of honeybees. There are different types of honeybees. There is a queen bee. Rachni. Then workers also. They are the ones who will find. Yeah. From the. They will collect the nectar from the flowers. And they will collect it in these combs. Yes. They are the workers. And also the queen. Now. Who is the one laying eggs? That is the queen bee. Is the one who lay eggs. So the first stage in the honeybee's life. Is the egg. Eggs. So, who is the one laying the eggs? That is the queen bees. Queen bees. So, there are different types of bees in it. They are the queen and the workers. Workers will work. Uh, find out the end of the and come. Queen bees workers to lay the eggs. And that eggs that will change. It is in given in your textbook. You can see that the queen bees. Hmm? They are laying the eggs. Then, the eggs, they will hatch the eggs. Are they into? Huh? And out of it, that hatching the eggs, that eggs will change into the next stage, that is the larva. It changes into larva, like small worms. It changes into larvas. Okay. That larva, again, it will change huh? Then it will turn into the next stage, that is the pupa. That is the pupa. Some more the structure of the honeybee it becomes that is the pupa structure. So eggs, who is laying the eggs? Honeybee, queen honeybees, honeybees laying the eggs. It changes into larva. Then larva changes into the pupa. From the pupa, it turns into the adult. Okay, adult. Adult means the honeybee. It becomes a honeybee. Again, the process goes on. The queen honeybee lays the egg. Changes into lava, it changes into pupa, then it changes into the honeybee. Then adult is the 
actual honeybee. It is given in your textbook. You can see the life stages of the honeybees. Here you can see it. So, so there are four stages of the four life stages in the uh, uh, how it changes into an adult: egg, larva, pupa, and the adult. Okay. So this is the life cycle of a honey bee. Again, how are the, we have said that there are some insects which are very useful to us. One is honey bee. Find a one more example for me, which is another insect which is useful to us. One more example for an insect that is useful to us. Okay, in the same way there are many insects which are very harmful to us. Now uh, one best example ah. Uh, Sometimes it will be by uh, hinting on a what hand and all. Why mosquito? It will come on biting, isn't it? Not only itching and all, it also spread diseases. That is very harmful. Like there are many insects which are very very harmful to us. So you can do one work. One work is find one more example for an insect that is useful to us. One example already. I'm going to tell about the honey bee. And then one. Another one, two examples for the harmful ones. That is another ex another work for you. Ready? So we are going to see the uses of honeybees. Yes, honeybee, honeybee. From the name itself, you know that it collects nectar. It is collecting the fruit juices, the flower juices, and it is storing it in this honeycomb. These workers are doing that work, and that it is collected in the honeycombs. From there, this honeycomb it changes into that in that in that uh, it changes into the honey, very tasty, sweety honey. Yes, that is one thing. That is honey bee store honey in the bee hives. In that bee hives, then we take this honey and use in the preparation of the food, and we use it as a food, and that is the only food which will not get spoiled at all. That is the honey. Then. The beehive, the, from the beehive, we are making out of the bee wax. It is made of bee wax. The using bees wax, using that, we will make candles, you know, some medicines it is used. So it's also used to make the candles and also this wax is used in the medicines. So two uses are they. One is honey, it is cut in the beehive and that we are taking as a food and medicine. And also another one, the beehive is uh, it can be changed into the bees wax, which is used as to make the candles and the medicines. Yes, so these are the uses of the honey bees, uh, honey bees. And if you go on hit on that beehive, if there is a beehive on in your house and all, if you go on hit it, what happens? Will it come and kiss you? What do you do? Yeah, it will come and. Uh, defend, it want to defend who are disturbed us, no? Come and sing on is very painful, it is poisonous also. Huh? So that is also very harmful if you go on, if you go and disturb it. Otherwise it is good. Yes, so that is the harmful effect of the honeybee. Again, in the same way, there are many insects which are very harmful to us. One I have said, mosquito. Can you give another example? Flies. Yes, then cockroaches, there are many, many examples. Okay, so about them we are going to see. So you can, you will read it out. Page number 21, what are the harmful effects of the insects? Huh? So take page number 21. Here, you can see there, harmful, how some insects can be harmful to us. Put today's date on top. Have you seen insects in your house? Is it good to have insects in your house? No. Some of these insects may be very harmful to us. Insects such as fly eater, then mosquitoes, bed bugs, muta you see in small tiny one it is, and head lice. Sometimes it will be going on scratching our head, yes, and sometimes it will be getting one uh, black color one uh, thing. What is it? Uh, head lice. It is a pain, a pain. And when you see, ah, uh, it will go on itching on your head if it is there. So you have to keep your head every time clean. If you go on itching, please take it out and you should clean it. Okay. It may cause harm to our bodies. Flies and mosquitoes carry germs. So flies living on the rotting food and fecus. Number two. 
and under uh, uh, food which is getting spoiled they'll be on it and uh, what happens the germs will be entering to their body they pick up germs on their legs and transfer them to the uncovered food and after that uh, sitting on this uh, spoiled food and on this number two and all they'll come and sit on our food what happens they are carrying the germs and putting it in our food which is uncovered that is why if you are if you are keeping the food and going somewhere you have to cover it and go otherwise this flies will spread the disease in it Eating this food may cause diseases because they have germs in it. That is about the flies. Again, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes pass on the germs to a body through their bites. You know, mosquito, what will they do? They are not sitting in the food. Instead, they will come and bite on our body. And what happens? Through that bites, uh, inside the blood, the germs will enter. Head flies that live in hair cause itching. There will be itching problem. Sorry, that is a head lice do. Insects such as cockroaches and ants eat food items in our house. Hmm. Then they can also damage our clothes. Cockroach and all, they eat our clothes also. Insects such as termites, chidale, what is what they do? They will eat the furnitures, wooden furnitures. So they are the examples for some of the harmful insects. You can see the picture given a cockroach eating a slice of bread. And taking the stored grains, even so, the sugar is the main example. Then, cloth eaten by the ant, termites eating the furniture. Hmm? Yes, some insects are harmful to the plants we grow. They eat up their leaves and fruits. And you can see some holes on the leaves of plants. But one, one of them is a friend of the farmers. Find out which is an insect, okay? That is what I said. Find out one example, one more example for a useful insect. Find out, okay? So, ter then termites eat the damaged tree trunks and uh, branches. That is the harmful insects. Now, how can we prevent the harmful effects of the insects? Any, any four you have to learn out of this. I will read it out. First one, we should not allow water. The uh, mosquito said that the mosquitoes live in the water which is not chicken. Huh? It is snacky water, get collected in our surroundings. The mosquitoes lay eggs in such water. Second one, we should use mosquito net or mosquito repellent creams to avoid the mosquito bites. Again, we should wear full sleeved clothes to protect ourselves from the mosquito bites. These are the things you can do to protect from the mosquitoes. Yes? So first, don't keep any collected water anywhere. They will lay eggs. In the, even in the coconut shells and all, if it is in the surrounding and all. Uh, in that also, this, co this uh, mosquito can lay the eggs. So another one, keep mosquito repellents, good knives. Like that you can keep to avoid the mosquito bites. Then you can wear full sleeved clothes. Yes. Again, we should be careful while working or playing in a garden to avoid the insect bites. Fifth one, naphthalene balls. One white color ball you can see. We need to use a kura metai. Just to keep away the cockroaches. Uh, in the cupboards and all to avoid the damage to clothes caused by the insect. Cockroaches and all. Naphthalene ball is given there. A small smile is also there for it. Then, we should not leave food uncovered or spill any food while eating. Otherwise, ants or cockroaches may gather there to eat the food. Flies also will come and sit on the food and the germs will spread in it. Seventh one, we should keep our houses, washrooms and public places clean. We may use certain chemicals to avoid the growth of harmful insects on the plants. Then, we should always keep food covered to keep away the flies. And also, we should use chemicals to protect our wooden furniture from the termites. These are 10 points are given out of the rainy 4 you have to learn. So, these are the different Ways to keep the, prevent the harmful effect of the insects. So what all we have learned in this chapter now? The life cycle of the honeybee. Four stages are there. Egg, larva, pupa and the adult. Yes, then there are different useful insects. One is honeybee. Find one more example for it. Yes, and there are many harmful insects which can cause diseases. And how can we prevent it from uh, prevent the insects. Yes. So, go through the chapter once more nicely. Thank you children. Have a nice day.